Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Tisha. And today we're going to talk about the Huntington Homes Aldi's Candles. And like I said, I wasn't doing a current burn review on any particular candle, just the uh, Huntington Home brand as a, a whole, and also all these candles, uh, the buying experience as a whole. So let's talk about what I have here. So I have two that I've been burning quite a bit. I still have a couple more to try, but these two have given me overall pretty uh, a good experience so first I wanted to share it with you all. So packaging wise, this is a collection that came out by, and they were inspired by Jo Malone Fragrances and Candles, and it's just called Huntington Home, and then they're numbered. I'm assuming the number correlates to something that kind of gives it that Jo and uh, Malone inspired, but this is lime, basil, and mandarin. It came with a nice copper lid. These were $4.99. This style three wick are $3.99. And so we'll talk about all that I know about them. And like I said, there's plenty of videos. This is a two wick, but it's been burning pretty well. Um, I've been doing like three to four hours a night and I love this in my kitchen. It just smells so clean. I really enjoy the way that the notes of the citrus fruits and the basil uh, play together. And then the, at the bottom it says cedarwood. I didn't really get that, but I bet it was a nice base to give like the herbal and the citrus kind of like a balance but it's been throwing really well. I actually really enjoy these. I wish I would have got more. I got one other one that I don't want to burn because it's my favorite Jo Malone scent. Um, but if these come out again, or if they do another Inspired By, I would definitely check them out because so far, like I said, I've been burning this for over a week and it's really doing well, throwing really well. I have it in a very big space. So let's talk about the three wick. I got, um, I just started with smoked pumpkin cider. And like I said, with Huntington Homes, they don't do candle notes on the bottom. But this one to me at first kind of gave me a little bit of a pumpkin bonfire. But how, you know how pumpkin bonfire has like a sweet note? This one does not. The pumpkin in this is kind of the note that doesn't come out super strong when you're burning it. But the cider, I kind of really get like a boozy note or like a cider note and then the smoke notes very strong even with the pumpkin note not being prominent it's not sweet so I wouldn't compare it to pumpkin vampire but I think that's what they were trying to go with you know but it does have a really nice like I said smoke element and like a drink element in here and I've been burning this one for just about as long the wicks are doing great it's burning really evenly and I burned this for three or four times now in my um this one is in uh, the dining room and it's really doing nice. So this one's in my kitchen after I clean it after dinner. And then I burn this one just when I'm, you know, up, up and about. Um, I do have them all over, but I just kind of like sporadically burn them. So when I'm saying things, probably doesn't mean anything to you, but I kind of remind myself of how often, how long and when I was burning these in case it's like something that is relevant, probably not. So um, I'm going to insert a video of each of these candles burning. Um, they were not doing too bad. I've had a kind of a week of like high flames. So if these look high to you, they were not the highest of the flames to me. So that's why I'm saying they were just medium, but they were pooling evenly and they were burning cleanly. So that's all I can really ask for. Um, in terms of where you can get these, um, I don't know where Huntington Homes is sold beyond all these. I'm pretty new to this game. There's a lot of channels that do cover the, all these candles probably a lot better than me, but it is interesting to me. So in some stores, it's the weekend, but in most stores on Wednesdays, they release like four to like maybe two different kind of um, collections of candles. They typically have about four cents right now this last week, but I was gone. That's why all my videos are kind of getting <laughs> behind. Um, but they had a, a Christmas or a Christmas, a Halloween set. And they looked really interesting. They have really cute packaging, at least a sticker. A lot of times they do colored wax. Um, and again, $3.99. Now it's not worth $3.99. Like I was telling you, my mainstays, um, candle current, current burn review, they're not worth the money if they don't have a scent, but both of the times so far, and I have burnt a couple in the past, they have a really nice throw. So I'm not going to say powerhouse. I'm not going to say the strongest that I've ever had, but decent, decent. And I could smell it where I was wanting to smell it. So, um, I find the throw on these Huntington Homes candles to be quite high. Um, again, not powerhouse, but it probably just depends on the scent. Like this is pretty strong. So this is a powerhouse. Now this shouldn't be because it's basil and mandarin. Those aren't scents that we would con consider powerhouse in any candle brand. Um, I don't really have any dupes. Like I said, pumpkin bonfire a little bit on this one, but it's, it's lacking the sweetness. So it's definitely not a dupe. 
Um, they are soy. I think both are soy. Let's see if this one says soy. This one doesn't say soy. So this one says soy and I remember I tried an ice cream s'mores and it said soy as well. So that might be what's contributing to the clean burn because that really does help. Um, but yeah, so on Wednesdays, they you can usually snag the latest sets that put out. There's a lot of Facebook groups and some TikTok groups you can find. I don't have any specifically I'd link down below um, where they, they share those things early so you can kind of get sneak peeks and stuff. But all you have to do is Google all the Isle of Shame or all the weekly candles and you can find a group to join where you can find out that information. Because again, $3.99 to $4.99 is not bad at all. Like if you're trying to build a collection or if you just are interested in some of those scents or if you burn a ton like me and you're like, um, I could use some affordable candles to burn along with these $15.95 ones. You know what I'm saying? So overall, I recommend 100%. Um, I would repurchase, but these aren't scents I can, that's why I did it this way. You can't repurchase. Once they're gone, they're gone. That's kind of how Aldi's works. So you would have to wait for next week to see what they put out. But I was really, you can always grab two of any scent you think you're really going to like. That's the only way you're going to be able to back it up. But they're going to come up with something new next week, as are all of the companies. So I would definitely say I will repurchase Huntington Home Candles. Um, I don't know. If you know, leave in the comments down below. Um, and I'll share it in a future video. If they are, um they're available elsewhere they could be at tj maxx and stuff i don't have really great stores so i rarely go there um just they don't have a lot of stuff but definitely um loving the burn experience on these hunting home candles so um yeah let me know down below are you already an avid aldi shopper have you guys already been in on the candle no for a long time i just wanted to do a dedicated video because i think before i just did like a post burn review on the ones that i had grabbed so those are my thoughts on Huntington Homes. Check them out if you guys have an Aldi near you because if we are candle burning um, loving, you know it is nice to find something super affordable that actually has a good quality and throw. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in a video very soon. Take care.